Okay, so I just got back from a big tournament, uh, case tournament for set two and set three, and I just kind of got me thinking about what the meta's looking like right now. So here are my top five decks for Card Fight Vanguard post Festival Booster 2024. This is gonna include the ban list. So this is kind of the post ban list, top five list as well. So keep that in mind, but let's just go ahead and talk about number five. So for the fifth place spot, I'm gonna put Zorga. So Zorga Nadir is a really, really good deck. And I'm not just saying this because it completely eliminated me in the last round of the tournament, but the deck has been topping really consistently. So if you look at Japan's results, you can check them out on VG Paradox, but Zorga is still doing really well. And I think the deck kind of deserves the fifth place spot because depending on who's piloting the deck, you can kind of go off. So in explanation, Zorga lets you take advantage of the fact that you can bind orders and then outcome magic from your bind zone and still utilize all the old cards like Roaming Prison Dragon is still a really good card in the deck. But you also got cards like Karma, which are really good, you know, call and give a crit type of card too. And then obviously Zorga and Nadir allowing you to restand a column and hit like these huge 60K, 70K column. It's, it's just a really good deck. But going more into that is obviously the card pool, the use of using different orders. You can give your Vanguard an extra drive. You can use Habitat to look through your deck. You can manipulate your drop zone and build up your, your bind zone. And over time, the deck progressively gets better and better until your opponent goes right into that kill turn with the divine skill. So for that reason, I'm putting Zorga at number five. Continuing on to number four, I'm putting Varga Dragress. Varga is a really, really good aggro beatdown deck, and it can take some really good surprise wins if you time the divine skill really well, and you're able to take advantage of going first, blowing up your opponent's front row, and just hitting them, you know, like five to six times. This on top of the fact that if your drive checks are really good and you get some crits, stack them on Varga, Varga swings for big number, your opponent can't guard it, they're taking damage a lot more early than they expect, but the deck also has a lot of draw power. It's got a lot of consistency with the cards that retire themselves from Varga's own skill to bring themselves back or give you more advantage out of it. So in combinations of cards like Abduracy Glaive and Shura that just have these big beefy numbers and just sheer force of power against your opponent, I think Varga kind of classifies itself as one of the best decks to play in Vanguard right now because it's just an Ungabunga go face deck. There's not much to think about when you're playing Varga, but when it goes off, it goes off. So thanks to its sheer consistency and the fact that you can just kind of throw all your triggers onto your Vanguard and maybe one on your rear guard, depending on how big the columns get, I think Varga kind of deserves itself in the top five, but I'm putting it at number four for now. For number three, I picked Reziel. Obviously, Reziel had really good consistency prior to the ban list. It wasn't as good as Luard or it wasn't topping as often as Luard, but it was still a major contender. Thanks to the Keter Sanctuary package of Teethfall, Wisdom of Beginning, and the dog, Sargon, Keter Sanctuary has just always kind of been this staple uh, turn to play the order, make a board, get a bunch of hand type of deck that just kind of puts you in an advantage, a little bit of an unfair advantage against your opponent. And Reziel being able to bring back cards from the drop zone and do multi-attacking, it's a really, really good deck and thinning out for triggers and the divine skill itself allowing you to survive potentially. It's a really fun gimmicky deck in a way, but the Keter Sanctuary package of Default Wisdom and Sargon make it that much better. And so for that reason, I'm putting Reziel at number three. For number two, I'm putting Ava. I think Ava has really, really earned itself a top contender spot with how well it's been doing in the meta right now. The addition of the promo, which allows you to superior ride Prison Ava from your deck, has accelerated the deck tenfold. Access to research cards that lets you search out, you know, monster PGs and uh, the monster grade one, just being able to set it up in your drop zone to be able to immediately call it back and then superior ride. The deck's got consistency down. If there's one thing Ava can do, it's be consistent. You put together a consistent deck with the ability to thin out for triggers and the ability to superior call and give rear guards 10K in a crit and be able to superior, sur bleh, superior persona ride from your deck. It's just really good. I, I think Ava definitely deserves the number two spot. 
And I know that maybe other people will disagree and say it should go to something like Reziol, or even Luard still is maybe a decent contender, or Blangmire maybe even. But I think Ava for sure is in the top three. Definitely, that deck is insanely good. And the number one spot is gonna go to Shiranui. I think Shiranui is still the best deck in format. I still think even though it lost the Shoujo Doji package or whatever you wanna call it, and the fact that it still lost Drag Veda to abuse being able to restand your front row again, I still think the deck is really good. The addition of the Festival Booster card that allows you to increase your soul and potentially retire rear guards or build a board from your soul, which is nice. I think helping maintain the soul has helped with that card. I also think losing Shoujo Doji didn't really hurt the deck that much. Genkai is still a pretty decent card, but overall the game plan is still the same. You swing, you dominate, you restand your rear guards, and it's still really good. I feel like people are starting to figure out how to play against it, but overall, when your opponent is just dominating your board and getting a bunch of hand and a bunch of advantage, there's not much you can really do. So I still think Shunu is the best deck, but I don't think it's to a point where it's like as overtly strong as it was in the past. So keep that in mind. I still think you can play around Shirinu if you know what you're doing. And on the other side of that, you still gotta deal with it. And therefore I feel like if you do wanna be playing in a tournament or something large scale, Shirinui is like a really good contender and will probably yield you some really positive results on par with Ava. I would say. That's just my personal opinion. This is just how I feel about where the game is at right now. I feel like Luard is maybe more of like a tier two deck. It's still really good for a stride deck set. I just think that with the recent additions from Festival Booster, a lot of decks are being able to take advantage of this generic support like Messiah. Messiah is a really good deck right now, but it's not top five. I would still say that you could update your Messiah deck and it's really good right now. Your Chrono Jet deck is probably really good right now. Your Chaos deck is really good. At the locals I went to earlier today for the big case tournament, Chaos got second place amongst over 60 players. So keep that in mind. You never know when these festival boosters are gonna make your old deck really, really good. But that's it for me. Those are my top five. In summary, we got Zorga's number five, Varga Dragress for number four, Reziel for number three, Ava for number two, and number one, I'm still leaving Shirinui because I think it's still gonna be used a lot. It's gonna top a lot. I still think it's the best deck to be playing if you wanna win games. That's the deck you'll probably pick up. That again, that's just my opinion for the top five best decks in Vanguard right now. So leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about my list. Let me know if there's something you're interested in me covering going forward in the future. I know top five lists aren't really been my thing, but I know that it's something that I do think about every now and then, and I like to share my opinions. With that said, don't forget to check out our sponsor, which is 50 Cards. So 50 Cards lets you pick up bundles, singles, sleeves, playmats, whatever you guys need for Vanguard, 50 Cards is gonna have it and you can use code Nexus to get 5% off at checkout. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.